Welcome to The Update. I'm Eleanor Quirk. A sixth immigration detainee has been taken back into custody by federal police. The 36-year-old Eritrean national was arrested in Melbourne and charged with failing to comply with a curfew set out in his visa obligations. He's part of a group of asylum seekers released into the community after the High Court ruled indefinite detention is unlawful. The federal government's tip to rein in overseas migration in a bid to ease the cost of living and housing crisis. It comes as latest figures reveal Australia's net migration at its highest level in history. The measures, set to be announced on Monday, will significantly slash the numbers of international students and cut migration levels by a third. The UN Secretary-General's warning the situation in Gaza is at breaking point. Antonio Guterres calling a Security Council meeting under special measures. There is a high risk of the total collapse of the humanitarian support system in Gaza, which would have devastating consequences. We anticipate that would result in a complete breakdown of public order and increased pressure for mass displacement into Egypt. We're being urged to be extra vigilant when shopping online for Christmas gifts. The number of scammers impersonating well-known brands is on the rise this year. Financial Services Minister Stephen Jones says if a deal looks too good to be true, it probably is. Scammers are always looking for opportunities to steal money from Australians, but during the Christmas period, they go into hyper mode. If you're online shopping and something is about a half or a third the price of everything else, um, good chance it's a scam. Meanwhile, we're being warned against putting dodgy toys under the Christmas tree this year. It comes as a number of products were identified as unsafe during spot inspections. Victoria's Consumer Affairs Minister Gabrielle Williams has urged retailers to ensure they're only selling safe products. Things like choking hazards, unsecured button batteries. Sport and entertainment are next. To sport and the Sydney Sixers have defeated the Melbourne Renegades by eight runs in the BBL. Steve Smith starred with a half century for the Sydney side at home at the SCG. All eyes will be on David Warner when he walks to the crease for the first time against the tourists in the first test starting Thursday. Captain Pat Cummins says he doesn't expect Warner to be too phased by Mitchell Johnson's controversial comments. I certainly don't agree with what he said, but everyone's entitled to their opinion. It's fine. How's Dave going? Have you spoken to him? Dave's great, yeah, spoken to him a lot over the last couple of weeks. Um, Dave's awesome. To entertainment and Dave Grohl's been spotted taking time off from his Aussie tour to help those struggling this Christmas. The Foo Fighters legend surprising volunteers at Melbourne charity The Big Umbrella Foundation where he helps hand out meals to those in need. And the home of Keanu Reeves has been targeted by masked thieves. Police arriving to find a group in ski masks smashing their way into the actor's home where they stole a gun and fled the scene. Reeves wasn't at home at the time. And that's the latest from the Nova podcast. We'll see you again soon for another episode of The Update.